second edition pronunciation pairs and introduction to the sounds of english this book is written by ann baker and sharon goldstein hi there guys how are you today great me too i'm feeling great and i'm also excited today why well because today we will start our lesson about consonant sounds but before I start our discussion about consonant sounds, allow me to say thank you first to those people who's giving their efforts to watch and learn from our videos. So to you guys, thank you so much. Okay, okay, I know you're very interested to know what would be a first consonant sound for today. So let's cut this introduction. Don't forget to grab your pen and paper because we will start our lesson now. Today, we will start to talk about Section B, Consonants. Unit 22, P sound is in pop. We will also talk about intonation in list. Okay guys, how are we going to produce this P sound? Follow step number one first. Close your lips tight. Then, push air forward in your mouth for step two. Open your lips quickly, but do not use your voice. So guys, listen and repeat after me. Okay. To make sure that you are producing the correct P sound, you can put your hands in front of your mouth. Now, let's try to do the P sound again. P. Okay, did you feel that? Did you feel the air puff to your hands? Well, if you feel that there is an air using your hand, so that means that you are producing the correct P sound. One more time say p. okay very good now that you already know how to produce this sound let's talk about vocabulary at the beginning of a word or a stressed syllable say p with a strong puff of air listen and repeat a pen a pen a pen a pencil a pencil a pencil passports 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 pictures 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 presents presents presence a city player a city player a city player a paper plate a paper plate a paper plate a piece of pie a piece of pie a piece of pie a pillow a pillow a pillow a plastic bag a plastic bag a plastic bag tooth paste tooth paste tooth paste a noose paper a noose paper a newspaper okay guys did you feel the strong puff of air when you were producing the sound of p now if you feel that then you're way to go you are doing the correct sound for this consonant sound very good after we did a strong puff of air when producing the p sound now let's try to do activity number two. 
The sound of P here is quieter in these words. It does not have a strong puff of air. So listen and repeat after me. A map. A map. A map. A cup. A cup. A cup. An envelope. An envelope. An envelope. Slippers. 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 Napkins. 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 A spoon. A spoon. A spoon. Did you notice that? In this group of words, the puff of air is not as strong compared to the first group of words. If you notice the difference, then that means that you can produce two sounds at the same time. Very good. Now, to check if you really understand the difference of these two sounds, let's try to do activity number three. Listen and repeat. Underline the P sound that are pronounced with a strong puff of air. So guys, listen as I say the following words. A purse. A postcard. A laptop. Stamps. Pennies. An apple. Now, can you tell me which of this group of words has a strong puff of air when you produce the P sound? Very good. We have here a purse, a postcard, and pennies. Great job, guys. So, that will be all for today. Join me again in the next video as we continue our lesson about P sound or P sound. Thank you for watching. Have fun. This is Teacher Carol saying goodbye.